Smart glasses aren't an item that I usually review on my channel, but when Soundcore reached out to me about the Soundcore frames, I had to check these out for myself. It's safe to say that they definitely piqued my interest. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my full review after living with the Soundcore frames for the past 30 days. Now, for transparency and full disclosure, Soundcore sent over the Soundcore frames for my honest opinion and review, but as many of my long-term viewers will tell you, this will not color my review in any way. So, let's jump into it. Firstly, what are the Soundcore frames and what's the use case here? Soundcore frames are smart audio glasses with interchangeable frame designs. For me, these have been great for watching videos, passive music listening, and taking the odd phone call. But what do they bring to the table? First up, let's talk about that Bluetooth connection. So these are running Bluetooth 5.2 along with AAC and SBC as their connection codecs. Now you're not gonna see Aptex or LDAC or any other high res codecs here because they would be completely wasted on an open design product like this. Now, when it comes to Bluetooth range, they are offering 10 meters or up to 32 feet. Now, obviously that's gonna vary depending on how many obstructions or walls you put in between the Soundcore frames and whatever device that they're connected to. Now, when it comes to video lag or latency, when you're watching YouTube, Netflix, anything like that, it's little to almost not perceptible. So slight latency there, but like I said, it's almost imperceptible. But when it comes to gaming, casual gaming, you'll probably be okay. But if you're gonna be playing anything competitive, like Call of Duty, PUBG, Fortnite, anything like that, there is very noticeable latency here when it comes to gaming, uh, bordering on completely distracting. So when it comes to mobile gaming, uh, these are definitely not gonna get a recommendation for me for mobile gaming. While the connectivity of the Soundcore frames is pretty good overall, sadly gaming performance is not up to par with earbuds or headphones costing less than half the price. So if you're looking for a solution for mobile gaming, I strongly recommend you look elsewhere. If you need some suggestions, just ask down in the comment section and I'll help you as soon as I can. So now let's move over to the battery life. So Soundcore was claiming five and a half hours at 60% volume. In my own personal testing, I managed to get four hours and 19 minutes at 75% volume. And if you actually manage to drain these all the way down to zero, they do offer a fast charging feature. So 10 minutes of charging will give you an additional 90 minutes worth of playback time. When it comes to charging the frames themselves, they do feature a magnetic charging cable that terminates in a USB-A, so you can plug it into a regular power bank or a port on your laptop, whichever way you want to roll. Sadly, I would have loved to see some sort of a charging case integrated with the Soundcore frames, but sadly, that is not the case here. So before we move into the next section, did you know that 75% of the people watching my videos aren't even subscribed to my channel? Help me change that. I'm trying to build a welcoming and inclusive community around the latest tech and audio products. I'd love it if you joined us. So now let's talk about the build quality and the customization. So these are easily customizable. Obviously there are 10 different frame styles to choose from. Anything from sunglasses all the way over to your blue light blocking lenses. So they've got you covered for a bunch of different situations. The Wander frame is my personal favorite. It's the one I'm wearing right now. It's the one that most suits my own personal style. And basically it speaks to me, so I like wearing this one. Now, if you do decide to order a set of the Soundcore frames, you can choose one frame style to come along with them, but the additional frames can be purchased separately. Now, one of the coolest things about these frames is how easily you can pop them on and off of the stems, but they still remain firm. There's no issues with them feeling loose or like they're gonna fall off at any point. So overall, the quality and the tolerances here are actually surprisingly good. The build quality of the frames and the stems themselves actually do feel very good and better than I had expected. Overall, the stems themselves are slimmer and less bulky than some of the other competitors on the market. Now, I have been wearing these daily, and I also swap the blue light lenses with the sunglasses on a daily basis. After nearly a month, I'm happy to report that the grip and the fitment of the stems into the frames remains just like new. Now, when it comes to overall comfort, I have a huge head. People that have met me in person are like, damn, that fool got a big old head. Yeah, it's a big old pumpkin head. But the fact that these fit me comfortably speaks volumes. So they are wide enough for people with very large heads. So unless you have a huge head, they're probably gonna fit you very, very comfortably as well. They don't feel heavy, they don't feel bulky, and I can even wear them while I'm wearing headphones. So no issues there. Now, one of the last features that I definitely want to touch on is going to be the natural ambient sound that the Soundcore frames provide. This is mostly because they don't go into your ears and they don't cover your ears. So you're going to always have this ambient awareness around you. So completely open, 
all the time. You're always able to conversate with people at the drop of a dime. So, and you also maintain all of your situational awareness. If you're out walking around in traffic and things of that nature, you don't have to worry about anything just surprising you basically. This is also one of the best features that you get from like bone conducting headphones or those types of headsets where you can really maintain situational awareness. And that is completely at play here with the sound core frames. Now, these wouldn't be smart audio glasses if they didn't offer app support. And you do get app support via the Soundcore app, both on iOS and on Android devices. Now, the app is very simple and straightforward. As soon as you open it up, you're going to see the battery life. You're going to see your frame design. And below that, you're going to see the open surround. And basically, that is a spatial audio Dolby Atmos type of feature with seven different strength levels. Below that, you're going to see the effects. First one is going to be privacy mode, and this is where it's going to become quieter. It's going to provide you with less sound leakage, and it's excellent for calls. Actually, when you take a phone call, it does default into privacy mode automatically. Below that, you're going to see the default EQ, and you're going to have five EQ presets built into these. Below this, you're going to see the custom EQ with a nine band equalizer. Why you would need a nine band equalizer on a set of smart frames is beyond me, but I'm glad to see that it's here either way. Below this, you're gonna see a wear detection toggle, and that's gonna to allow you to toggle on and off the ability to have automatic play and pause, and it actually does work pretty well. This is one of the few occasions where I leave wear detection on because it has worked perfectly so far. It's actually been flawless. Now below this, you do have a wear calibration feature, Below that, you do have the customizable controls. Now, as far as controls, these are gonna give you the ability to double tap, swipe forward, and swipe back. The swipe responses are actually really good, and I haven't had any problems with those, and they are customizable with a lot of different commands. Track forward, track back, you can do volume controls, totally up to you. When it comes to the double tap, that's been a little more iffy. It's been very hit or miss for me, so a little bit of frustration with that, at least for me in my experience. Below this, you're going to have the laboratory functions, and this is basically, I guess, maybe their experimental section, but they do offer you voice control within this menu. And with voice control, you can do play pause, you can do skip track forward and back, volume up and down. It actually works surprisingly well, but I don't know how I feel about yelling out, hey, volume up just while you're out in public. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just me. And then last but not least, you also get firmware updates, a quick start guide, and the user manual all within this app. So if you do pick these up, you definitely wanna grab that app as soon as possible. So now let's get into some performance. So first up, the volume. The sound core frames get plenty loud, uh, loud enough to bother people around you, especially so if you're in a quiet room or in a quiet environment. So for me, I'm usually listening to these anywhere from 25% to about 50% volume at the most. And this is mostly because I don't want to bug my family members while I'm listening to a video or listening to some background music. But there's plenty of volume overhead if you ever get on a phone call with somebody who's speaking quietly or a video with quiet dialogue. There's tons of volume here and more than enough to really <laughs> bother everyone in the room around you. So just keep that in mind. If you want them to be loud, they can get plenty loud. So now let's move over to the sound quality. And let's preface this by saying that the sound quality is different than what you would expect from both headphones or earbuds. Since these are essentially speakers that sit above your ears, the bass impact might not be what you're expecting. Now, these are featuring four drivers, two per side, and this design is what gives them the ability to create a somewhat immersive experience. But as I said before, it is different than what I expected. The sound quality overall is mostly from like the low mids all the way up into the treble range as far as sound. So you're not going to have like deep, impactful bass. That's not what these are bringing to the table. So if that's what you need, then you probably need a different type of sound solution and smart glasses might not be it for you. Now for everyone else, you do get access to that open surround feature and that makes a noticeable difference when listening to music or when you're watching movies. It definitely makes it feel more immersive. It's sort of like it puts you in the room and it puts the music around you. There is adjustability there. At its maximum level of seven, it's a bit weird. The EQ gets really, really strange. It tries to do a bit too much. It doesn't sound good. But anything between one and five, it's gonna be really the sweet spot here. For me, I usually keep it around level three or level for and it sounds excellent. But overall, I am actually quite impressed with the sound quality of these Soundcore frames when it comes to both music and movies. Now, it's not mind blowing or anything like that because there isn't huge bass here, but the fact that it can actually sound immersive while you maintain complete situational awareness around you, 
is still seriously impressive. So everything isn't perfect when it comes to the Soundcore frame. So let's give Soundcore some constructive criticism here. So first up, it's gonna be that latency for mobile gaming, especially when you're playing games like Call of Duty or Fortnite or PUBG it's seriously noticeable. So one of the things that I would suggest would be the addition of a low latency mode like we did with the Soundcore Life P3. Give the people the ability to toggle that on and off if that is possible. Maybe in the next iteration of these, I don't know if that's something that's even possible via firmware update, but it would be kind of cool to see that here, at least to minimize that latency. Now, secondly, it's going to be the inconsistent controls for me with the double tap. The double tap, it just works half the time, half the time it doesn't. And it doesn't matter whether on the left or the right side, for whatever reason, sometimes I just cannot get it to work. So I don't know if it just needs to be placed differently or if maybe we need some other sort of tactility on here, but it just wasn't working for me. But the swipe definitely worked perfectly. So I don't know. Go figure. Thirdly, and one of the ones that really bugged me the most was the incoming call volume. The ring, it's loud. It's like at maximum volume. The sound core, we need to we need to have some sort of a an ability to adjust that ringer volume, or we need to just reduce it overall because it is just blowing out my ears when somebody calls me to the point where I'm tossing the glasses off my head when somebody calls me. It's like shocking, it like scares you. So um we definitely need to do something about that. And then last but not least, the fact that these don't come with a charging case. I'm so accustomed to my earbuds having their own charging cases, and these to me feel like sort of like a set of true wireless earbuds that I really expected them to come with some sort of a charging case, which they don't come with. I mean, the cable, the magnetic cable is cool and all, but I don't know. For this price, I was really hoping we would have seen uh, an actual charging case that they can sit inside of. Now, before I deliver my final verdict on the Soundcore frames, let me hit you with some microphone quality samples so you can hear how they sound for yourself. All right, so here we have the microphone quality test for the Soundcore frames. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Obviously, I'm indoors in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we have the Soundcore frames in a simulated crowd noise environment. So maybe like a busy bar or maybe a crowded restaurant, something along those lines. So testing, testing, one, two, three. As always, you're going to have to be the judge of the call quality down in the comment section. So here's my final thoughts. I absolutely love audio technology. I love the fact that companies like Soundcore are making products like this in order to move this type of wearable audio technology forward. My main gripe here is going to be the price. Normally, Soundcore delivers excellent value for your dollar. Normally, they actually over deliver on value while setting a standard in any price point that they compete in. Sadly, these come in at nearly the exact same price as the Bose frames. Now, to be fair, the Soundcore frames do offer you much more customization and a slimmer overall design, but it's still tough to justify that $200 price tag for what they actually offer me on a day-to-day -day basis. And I mean that for both Soundcore and Bose alike. While the Soundcore frames are super cool in my opinion, if you were looking for value, then these ain't it. Unless, of course, you're that person who likes to live on the bleeding edge of audio technology, then maybe these might be right for you. But if it was my money on the line, I would not buy these. Same way I did not buy the Bose frames when those were released. But this is just my own personal opinion. At the end of the day, you have to decide whether or not these deliver value for you and your personal needs. But if you want to see another product that absolutely over delivers and costs less than the Soundcore frames, check out my full review of the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro right up here on the screen. With that said, I'm out of here. Peace.